Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your fifth tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And in this tutorial I want to show you a little trick that you'll need to know as we start to get into algebra. And that's what we can do with negative fractions. So a negative fraction, let's say that a is a number and we'll say b is a number. So a divided by b is a fraction. And if this fraction is negative, well we can simply say that there's a negative out front here, so I've made it negative. So the trick that I want to show you is you can write this in three different ways. So this is the first way you can write this. This way implies that the fraction a divided by b is negative. The other thing that we can say is we can say, okay, well that is equal to negative a divided by a positive b. And the third way we can write this is we can say, okay, this is a positive a divided by a negative b. So depending on what type of algebra expression you're working on, you may have something in this form, and you may want to move that negative into the numerator, or you may want to move it into the denominator. Or you may have it in this form, and you maybe want to move it the negative from the denominator back to the front. So I wanted to show you that you can do this, you can move that negative around however you want with these fractions into one of these three locations, and you'll still get the same correct answer. So let's just go ahead and put this into numbers, maybe to make it more clear for you. So if we have the fraction negative 3 fifths, we can simply rewrite that as a negative 3 divided by a positive 5, or we can say this is a positive 3 divided by a negative 5. So this was a really simple lesson, but this is a property that's pretty important to know about, and it can be really useful as you start to work with algebraic expressions and learn how to solve them. So I wanted to point that out to you guys now before we got uh, into solving algebraic expressions. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more lessons in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.